Well, this is unsettling music. This is Legend of Keepers, prologue. I've been keeping up with this game um, a f uh, for a while. I've always seen it on um, like the updates on, I believe it's itch.io. And I don't know, I, I can't remember why I came across it, but it just looked really cool. Uh, and as we saw, just by Goblin Studio, I believe they're called, we are going to check out their newest game. Force Pixel Perfect. I have no clue what that means. Apparently you can mod it, which is cool. But let's just get straight into it. I like the music, I like the art style. And this is like a 2D roguelite, or roguelike, I believe. I'm never too sure about the comparisons between like and light, so I apologize. But yeah, 2D dungeon style game. Let's try it out. Make a new save. Everything's so smooth and nice at the moment in terms of UI. It's all very responsive. Congratulations and welcome to the Dungeons Company. Shouldn't that be with a apostrophe? Dungeons? To the Dungeons Company? Yeah, that should have an apostrophe where Dungeons in the Dungeons. In any case, as you saw the job in the job posting, your main task is to protect the treasures we keep in our dungeons. We don't have much time to spend training you, so please keep up. Sounds like most jobs nowadays. Heroes keep coming to try and take our treasures. The marketing team has worked hard to promise gold and glory to these idiotic villagers. We have little time before they get here, so let's place our traps and our employees to prepare a defense. So basically this is like, oh what's it called? Good, good dungeon keeper? I think it's good to call Dungeon Keeper, where you're the bad guys, and then the heroes are trying to come into your dungeons, and you have to like set traps and stuff. But this is a, a whole different. We have a bone catapult. But this is a whole different layout and style and uh, things like that. So, bone catapult minus ten morale applies demoralize three. The area is minus 15 morale on the next turn, 5 times 3. That, that's a lot of numbers I don't know about. But I'm just going to put it there, I guess. <laughs> that's silly. I like I like the, the whole art style still at the moment. Um, and spell? Do I click on spell? No, I just confirm it. Okay. So then we're like zooming through. I guess we just... There's like certain... Like in Nidhogg where there's certain levels or like pages. And then if you manage to get past the page, then you go on to the next page and then you keep on going like to and from. And whoever gets to the furthest end, it wins basically. I think that's what this is like. You have like certain sections that are cut out and they keep progressing until they meet your defenses that actually defeat them. We always leave an empty room in every dungeon. You can use it to ambush the adventurers with one of your favorite spells. Oh, I, I guess I don't get to do that as of yet then. Some rooms are dedicated to combat. This is my favorite bit. Make sure to analyze each group of adventurers. Your employees are counting on you to prepare an effective strategy. Pay attention to the monsters' resistance and armor, so don't have to, so we don't have to send them to the infirmary. So, how do I know who's attacking? Are these my people? Uh, there's a barbarian and a scout and a thug. Julia Karen Thokhal. I'm not sure whether Yeah, they must be they must be the adventurers. So he does like 35 physical damage. Okay, how do I How do I counter them? Or do I just place all three of these dudes down? I guess I do. I'd obviously put him at the front. And then this dude is a skeleton magus, or magus, and then a ghost. Ghost surely... Apparently if he goes at the, th the front, they get minus 30 morale. If they go at the back, he does 40 air damage and applies demoralized. Yeah, so... This dude wants to stay at the front for sure. This dude can go to the back. And then he can just do the air in the middle. So we can get these these effects going on here. I'm just I'm I'm judging it by this in Darkest Dungeon. But it seems like back 
You would think that was back, considering we're looking at the, the diamond here, or the diamonds. Um, but actually the front is the front here, I think. Is why I'm getting a little bit confused, but it doesn't matter. And then the boss. Oh, that's not great for them. One of them lost an arm already. The thugs just lost an arm. <laughs> uh, show no mercy. Implies enraged. Applies enraged three to the next group of monsters. Damage and morale dealt increased by 30%. 10 times 3. I don't know why there's 10 times 3 is there, but okay. The job also involves eviscerating villagers. No reason, no reason work can't be fun. If you prefer, you can, of course, demoralize them and terrify them until they flee like peasants. Ah, and one last thing. In battle, the fastest combatants act first. That's like JRPG stuff. Ow, that hurt a lot. Wow, that's a lot of damage to our main dude. Okay. So... She does a lot of damage. And then it's, I can... Oh, so I can scare the front. Oh, so th that must be... This must be their skills that they can target. It doesn't matter where they are placed. As far as I'm aware. Just matters about that. Okay. So scare. Oh, I made him... <laughs> I made him run. So that second purple bar is how much they're, they're scared. How can you... How can you arrow a ghost? Wow, that's a lot of damage. Scream of Terror. Minus 15 morale on both of them. Didn't really do too much, though. So we died pretty easily there. They're pretty tough. It looks like we're gonna do... It looks like we're gonna be pretty good here. So I can do enslavement. 20 air damage applies bleeding. Whiplash 80 physical damage, or minus 40 morale. What's the difference between scaring them and killing them, I wonder? Maybe I get like extra loot if I kill them? Or maybe they'll like come back? Oh, a nemesis, a ne nemesis system where villagers come back after a while and like he's like missing his arm but now he's like scared against the, the catapult because it, it ruined his arm so it might give him like a decreased morale, like bonus basically. But also he's like better at, I don't know, morale stuff. Because I'm just going to freaking make him run. Guaranteed. Guaranteed move there. And then I'm just going to whiplash you. Easy. You did it. I knew from the start that you had potential. No, that here in Dungeons Company, we reward talent and value ambition. Shoot for the moon. And your training ends. I'll see you again next year for the annual evaluation. If you do a good job in protecting your treasures, you'll get promotion you deserve. This is cool. I like this. And you get to choose different, different bosses, I guess. So monsters, that's the amount of monsters that you can deploy, maybe. And then he's not very good with traps. Or spells, really. And then he's got good morale. Okay. I'm to see what back would do. It'd probably just take me to the main menu or something. Let's double check in here. Nope, it's just normal stuff. Zoom. We can have a look. Oh, we can have a look at what employees we have. Maybe I'm jumping the gun a bit here, though. The so week one. Adventurers. And we got to, like, stop them. The merchant, the engineers. Maybe, I don't know. Let's just go through it. Preparation phase. So 14 nature damage lies 3 poison. Replaces one of her penalties with a bonus at the end the start of one turn. Randomly repositions all monsters at the start of one fight. Dodges the effects of one trap. So poison dart here is not going to be great. Because a lasting effect of nature damage, she's just going to replace it uh, with like one of her penalties with a bonus. So I'm going to use a bone catapult. 
This is a really cool idea. I really like this. Uh, so, ice damage. Somebody does fire damage here, I can imagine. Yeah, okay, so we're looking at his resistances now. So, if I click on him... How do I... How do I just use the mouse to point? There we go. So, he has minus 65 damage, like, fire damage. We don't want that against the fire mage. We just don't. So... Everyone... Although he is extremely affected against ice as well. Like fire damage. The mage, the, the priestess here, Vardan, isn't great against fire. We could use the Thilnara. We'll check here, so air damage. We're not necessarily too great with air damage. What about physical? How do we check physical? Maybe that's armor? They're pretty good with that as well, really. Like ice, they're actually pretty hurt against. Although, if that magician, Zora, uses fire on this ice dude, he's gonna die straight away, but let's try it. And then... I don't know how much affected they are against morale. Like, to be expected, the front line has 130 morale by the smiley face that I can see here. So, they decrease quite rapidly, but minus 15 morale isn't going to really do much. Can I, can I double check on the other screen again? I wish I could double check my catapult again. I can't. So yeah, we're going to do the Ice Dude, and we're going to try and take down the Magician, probably, with the Ice Dude, if we get away with it. And Nature and Fire. Oh yeah, the front the front girl here is really, really damaging, or can get that damage by uh, that. And we have a resistance to air, so I'm going to put her down. And she can only do front, so that's good, because we want, we want the... Uh, Thelnara to attack the Zardan. And then more... We can do... Physical... So basically it's between these two now. It's either air damage or physical and morale. We want to remove her and we're going to put her at the back. Even though this dude can shuffle everyone around, it doesn't really matter too much. Who can he attack? He can attack the front. Oh, he can only attack the front. So, her armor is 15%. He can attack anywhere with air damage, so I'm going to put him down. And then we're just double checking... I'm going to double check health bars here, so... I'm going to put the weakest at the back, even though they're going to shuffle them around. And then Rallying Horn, minus 10 morale, applies in Rage to the next group. I don't really know damage and morale dealt increased by 30%. Maybe that's... Maybe in, that's what Enrage does, but I don't necessarily know what Enrage does. Circular Sort applies Bleeding. I think, I think Rallying Horn would be pretty good here. These are really cool things, by the way. Like, the traps look really awesome. So now, I'll make sure the only attack, he can only attack the back. She's 0% against fire, so that's fine. He can only attack the front with physical and nature damage. She hates nature, so I'm going to put him down. He doesn't have a lot of health, though. Like, one shot to him with most of these damaging attacks will actually kill him, so I might revise that. But I don't know yet area. You can attack the back with poison, or nature. Um, let's double check here. So, he has fire and morale. You can attack the back, or you can just do morale. Um, trying to go pretty deep onto morale here, I think, as well. I think air is going to be actually pretty handy here.
I'm surprised nobody has resistances to morale at all, but... Sixty to the back for fire damage. We could do that. Yeah, let's go for all right, all that damage there, and then obviously the boss. So I th I took a lot of thought into that, but I don't know what's going to happen here. Okay, as expected. Ooh, that nearly killed it straight away. Okay, so, Nightmare. 18 air damage applies Terrified. Morale loss is doubled. Ooh, that's gonna hurt. Or air damage applies Bleeding. She's... Fairly front air damage. Yeah, she's fairly resistant, so I'm gonna do Nightmare. So, ice block, ice damage to her. She's not very friendly with ice, so that doesn't necessarily... Or we'll applies slowed. We could do that. Not very many people like the slowness. Interesting. So she put morale decrease on herself. Does Nightmare stack? Or does Nightmare stack? I'll do that again. Also, these... These faces really need to be changed. They kind of break the, the whole coolness. It's just like emojis that I see on Facebook. Uh, ice damage. I'm gonna do ice damage to the back. Dead. So the frontline woman's actually doing the best at the moment, even though she should have done the worst. So let's do... We can do Bly's fire damage. And Bly's enraged. And we do intimidation. Yeah, we're gonna do so much morale here. I, I, my last choice of, of people was like, oh, I'm just gonna do less morale stuff. And more damage. So this was probably a bad idea, although the ghost is gonna do terrifying, terrifying things. Physical damage, bleeding. So the Magician's not going to like the fire damage, but he's going to be morale... Like, he's going to be ruined by morale anyway. She hates nature. He's going to go in with a poison dagger. And that's three... 15 damage on next turn. She has 75 health at the moment. For him, he wants to just do minus 30 morale. She's gone. So anything for morale here will just do the trick, really, I think. Because he's resistant to fire, so... There we go. Easy peasy. Successfully protected the treasure, and I get, like, gold... I get tears! Oh my god, that's what happens. Oh, if you scare people, you get tears. If you get... If you kill people, you get blood. Okay. Okay, I wonder what that does. You must, put, you must like, be able to purchase stuff and upgrade stuff based on tears. That's hilarious. And blood. You have successfully protected your treasure. The management is pleased. I like the way that it's like actual like corporate like marketing and stuff like that for dungeons. Uh, the management is pleased to offer you these bo uh, bonuses in addition to f 150 gold coins. So we have them. The, uh, we have an artifact of magic purse. Magic purse gold gained increased by 20%. Totem of strength. Demons gain 10% power. I'm not sure which one's the demons. Maybe it's just all of my creatures. Mysterious screwdriver. Each trap has 10% chance to gain multiplication. What does multiplication do? One per, plus one trigger per stack. It's only 10% though. I think gold would probably be best at the start. Maybe. Uh, you're probably not going to get too much gold. I'm not sure how much I got from that fight. Let's do demons get 10% power instead. <laughs> this is like a horror game, in a way. This would be great for Halloween, at least it's October, so that's good. Quick monster placing. Mm, I think it's going to do itself. I don't know why I keep going into that. Let's do week two. 
I get to choose, maybe? Buy a monster or a trap from the unscrupulous merchant. Upgrade a trap to level it up or an event. Deal with the... Deal with office troubles and the business work environment, for better or for worse. Do I only get to choose one here? Because I'm just going to ha have a look at the merchant. I can renew? What does that mean? Oh, I can change out the, the options. Okay. That makes more sense. Can I use the arrow keys? I don't want to click on them in case I buy them. No, no, that's fine. Actually, the, the buy the buy is there, so it's fine. So we can buy the so we can buy Ronk. He's a Borman. He's level one. He can do he can do a lot of physical damage. There's a lot of health as well. And now I can compare it to Gnorl here. He has he has twenty more health than the Borman. The Borman does so much more damage. And Gnorl. If I was to ever use him, he would just be for being like a tanky dude, so minus 15 morale is okay. Like, it is pretty powerful, but I'd, I'd really want to, for, for a tank, I'd want to do more like damage, right? 27 fire damage. Oh, sorry, this is Antheon. He's a flame eater. Only has 60 health. He has quite a few... If we... If we we're checking here. It's quite a few weaknesses. I guess more weaknesses and strengths. Let's just have a look at. Yeah, like he's pretty resistant. He is a tank, I guess. And a ballista, twenty physical damage applies broken armor. Ooh, that's not bad. Although I do have really good traps. Minus ten life on next turn. So that's 20, 20 damage overall. Maybe 30, because it's bleeding 2. So do minus 10 life on next turn 2 times. Sure. No, I think, I think it is taking into the fact the... I think the area, and it says 5 times 2, which is bleeding times 2. So I guess that is what it is. Um, yeah, we have, like, if we want to do damage, we can. Although broken armor would be pretty good as a trap. Let's say we get, like, a really tanky dude. And stunned would be really good as well. Can't attack during this turn. I, I like, I like Ronk, actually. And I really do like... The ballista, but I'm gonna I'm gonna forget about that. I'm gonna leave. Oh, so I have to ignore it. Okay, upgrade a trap to level it up. Let's do an event. Ocean of evolution. An employee found a strange flask in the bloom closet, in the broom closet, and drank it in all one gulp. Don't expect to see growth in intelligence, as the employee seems to have gained muscular mass plus one level. Oh, he's good. The goblin's good to get plus one le one level though. Congratulate him. I like the like that we're calling them employees. Uh, merchant or course. An opportunity to send one of your employees to an intensive training course. Let's try it. Ah, oh, it's, it's him as well. Oh my days. He's get he's gonna get like. Whoa, it's three hundred gold though. You have received a letter from Monster Training Center, offering to train one of your employees for a large amount of gold. Training would take eight weeks. Let's do levels. Like, does he... Yeah, he has physical and nature damage. But let's just see, you know? Let's just see what happens. It's the prologue. Who cares? We can get some adventures going again. So it's the same adventures as, uh, as, as last time. Uh, in terms of the first time, sorry. So... These dudes don't really like ice that much. I like him. Put him there. Um, how are they with air? Middle thief guy is not very happy with air. Although she can only attack the front. Can do nature damage though. He doesn't really like nature. Air. He can do anywhere basically, or just the front. 
The thief doesn't like the air too much, although he, he's still missing an arm. I wonder whether or not that's the dude who we, who we scared. Marden. He is level two now. Maybe that is the dude. Hmm. Let's have a look at what they do, though. They do physical, a lot of nature damage. So we want a lot of physical and nature resistance. We don't really have much nature resistance, do we? At least air here can hurt them. No, no, nobody's like resistant to air, which is good. Fire or nature? You can only do it at the front, though. But he's not—he doesn't—he's not too happy with nature, so we try that. And he can attack the back with fire damage. Yeah, that's good. Ones, yep. So passive attacks jump to the hero position behind the target if the target's armor is positive. Okay. So these attacks will jump over to the thief. He's not very happy with air or fire. I think we we just want to go standard, which is him. He will do a lot of air damage to everyone and nobody's res resistant to air. And here Nobody's too happy with nature. Especially the front dude here. Minus 10 morale would be pretty good. We get to do more damage. But I'm going to do poison dart. Just see what it does. See if it's any like effective at all. And then we're going to do... Do some more, more morale. I do like that catapult. And then here... We don't get to choose our newly leveled dude. But we do get to choose Ronk the Borman. He does have quite a lot of armor. Everyone has quite a lot of armor here, so I'm going to put Rock down. I do like the ghost being around. 44 air damage, yeah, that's good. And nature. Um, you can attack the back or just area. So I'll probably go Gnaw here. You can just do general morale damage. I'm not really focusing on anything too much at the moment. I'm not too happy with my strategy. I'm, all, I'm kind of all over the place, but we got our totem here. Wow, instant death. As soon as they start to focus down someone, we're, we're struggling. So, sharp thorns, air damage. Plus three bleeding. Air damage applies terrified. Morale losses doubled. Let's do morale losses doubled air damage to everyone and over here morale and demoralized minus 15 morale on next turn we can do fire damage to her let's do fire damage to her she does that takes quite a lot of her health away that thief does a lot of damage a lot of nature damage It only hurts hits the first person. Okay. Intimidation. Enraged. Only, this fire damage only hits the first person. Intimidation is going to hurt all of them, but they have a lot of morale. I'm going to do. I'm going to do burning whip. I think. Even though he's quite resistant to it. They're not very happy with that. But this was a good choice to go for mostly damage. Ooh, he nearly died straight away. Okay, air damage. He's going to die instantly. That's going to take a lot of his morale away, but we're going to do... We're going to kill the um, archer for a guaranteed kind of like reprieve and then scream of terror 
is going to take a lot of their morale down, but we want to do some more damage to this dude. All these animations are really good as well. Like there's, there's really good feedback and things like that, so I'm happy. Okay, that's good that they hit Gnoll. So, air damage is going to do a frick ton of damage to him. We want to we want to kind of scare this dude. Actually, we shouldn't have done that because Nall can only attack one person at a time. But let's scare the first dude away. We can only attack the front dude, so this thief's going to be... We're going to have to just constantly focus on him now. Air damage. Can he cleaver the... Yeah, he can cleaver the front dude after the front dude's dead, so... There we go. We've successfully protected the treasure. Got a decent amount of gold. The management is pleased to offer you one of these bonuses in addition to 123 gold. Uh, gold coins. Ooh. Speed reduced by 40. Speed increased by 40. That's pretty good. But they always get the first attack off. Then I'd have to do it. Slow three. Uh, how many turns does that last for? Three? I'm not too sure. Fire damage. Damage dealt increased by 5% for each stack of penalty applied to the heroes. Intriguing. Has two stacks of penalty with the most stacks to each hero. Um, she would be pretty good. She applies haste to monsters in front of her as well. Does she do 18 air damage to the monsters in front of her? And he has 40 health. She's very much a buffer though. I'd rather just take the gold in all honesty. Get a trainer or an event or an engineer. Trainer do. Train a monster to level up. It took a lot of money last time. I'm not sure whether that's a good idea. Collectors, what is that? Some tax officials have come to collect. Good a job they drink blood. Oh. I may wanna I may wanna do an event and see when I can get more more blood, maybe. Journeyman trainer. By chance you meet a tamer traveling through the region and looking for some work. This traveler offers to train one of your employees for half the price. Oh that's nice then. That was a good idea. Yeah, let's do it. I'm interested to see what collectors are. That picture is really cool as well, I'm gonna do it. Collectors. These suit and tie vampires are here to collect taxes. However, blood is more valuable than gold coins to them. They could even grant you monetary compensation in exchange for blood comp... Uh, comp whatever it is. And you would ex exceptionally be ex exempt from taxes. 120 life lost. But life to the slaveholder? Let's do it. Okay, so it is to the slaveholder. Okay, but we get gold for it. That was a bad idea, but still. An opportunity to send one of your employees to an intensive training course and an event. Well, now that we have the gold, we might as well send somebody to a course. Um, him... I don't know whether or not we want to send our skeleton archer. There's a lot of... He does do a lot of... Uh, has a lot of resistances, except for armor and ice. He only does nature damage. It's a one-trick pony, basically. I'm not. I'm gonna ignore. Bad idea. Just event. Lucky me. You get placed a bet on a. You placed a bet on a ball racing game during lunch break. You were the one who finished first. You won the jackpot. Nice. I have a lot of money already. I'm gonna choose against veterans. I get better rewards. How far does the prologue last? Thinking, thinking, thinking. These veterans are going to do a lot of damage. So I probably want to do adventures. Maybe I'm, I'm just not ready for it yet, maybe. <laughs> so, these dudes have... Not a lot of morale. Actually, no, let's do that. Actually, ooh. No, let's do this one. And then... 
Bronk died immediately last time. But I'm tempted to go duh, 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 like last time. Do they have different resistances? I don't think they do. Um, as for nature damage, yeah, he, he won't like that, so let's do that. And then Rissi here. Nobody really likes ice. Nature, he can attack the back with nature. She's fine with that. 15 nature applies poison. We can only attack the front. Let's do that. Although he's resistant against fire, but we can do nature damage. Fire damage to the back, maybe? Yeah, I think we're just going to do the same as last time. Okay. But we're going to focus more on morale this time. Did they just slaughter that goblin in the wheelchair, I guess? Ouchies. That's a middle row attack. Oh god. How did that happen? Okay. But well, we can just absolutely obliterate this friend dude with morale. Instant death. And then morale again. Oh my god. Friend dude's, friend dude's not running yet. He's not running for the hills. How the hell did that happen? Intimidation, minus five morale. Guy's terrified. Let's just do intimidation, get rid of that first dude. He does a lot of damage, although the thief is the main damage dealer. Oh, nature's not gonna help with this dude. Although he has 10% resistance. Here we go. Ouch. And dead instantly, okay. There's a lot of one-hit kills. Isn't great for us. Fire damage is going to ruin both of them. Yeah, they don't have any fire resistance yet. Let's do it. Oof. Oh, I hit... I hit the person in front of me. Yeah, so that does... That does hit the first person, okay. They're faster than me, I guess. God damn it. Okay. Whiplash is gonna hurt a lot. Let's do 80 physical damage. You got two hits on me. He's gonna ruin you now. You successfully protected the treasure. This looks awesome! Look at that effect! That's cool! You have successfully protected the treasure. Management would like to offer you these, uh, along with 110 gold. Electrical coil, air weakness, air resistance reduced by 50. <gasps> yes, please. I should have got that, that pixie lady who was good at, um, who was good at air. Oh, when she's right there. Okay, maybe. Well, who's, what's this? Furnace. Buys five fire damage, buys burn. 15 damage. Per turn for fire. Um, now I want the pixie lady. 